is a demonstration about CERT-based RADIUS authentication for bring your own certificates. Uh, as you can see on the RADIUS uh, interface, I currently have a RADIUS access point called RADIUS-U6 already defined. Uh, the current interface allows you to uh, select either uh, passwordless for certificates or password for traditional credentials. It allows you to upload or import the certificate trust chain from any source where the certificates were created. And it also allows you to uh, use MFA, uh, the traditional MFA, in combination with certificates as a fallback. Um, when they are used, it's either one or the other, uh, but not both. So, to demonstrate the, the feasibility and the ease of use, we're going to uh, allow access to one of the users in the user group A. Um, the user we're going to uh, have access, allow access to is uh, under the email roger underscore qda who that mail. Um, prior to uh, this execution, two things have been accomplished or done. First, the certificate trust chain has been uh, imported as I showed in the previous interface and also uh, the certificate uh, containing the user identifier, in this case the email for roger underscore qyahoo.com, has already been uh, imported into the user uh, store. So since this user is already active, we're going to connect to the radius uh, Wi-Fi and authentication takes place by reading the contents of the certificate and access is obtained immediately. Now as a, so we can we can see this transaction uh, if we go to DI, we can appreciate that this transaction has taken place and the transaction has been uh, initiated by uh, user roger underscore qr yahoo.com and it's a uh, TLS transaction and it was successful and it, the certificate was read and validated. This means that uh, the certificate is in good standing, the certificate contains information about this user and the user uh, with email roger underscore q is also in good standing uh, in the jump cloud uh, directory. Now we're going to disable this user and attempt to do uh, an authentication again. So we go to the corresponding user and deactivate. Right. Now we're going to disconnect and try to connect back, but this time uh, it should fail because the user is no longer uh, in good standing with Jumper Director, and it does. So we're going to connect to a different network. And now we can inspect the results going to DI and we should see a success followed by a failure. And here's the last transaction indicating a failure. And it was initiated, well, we don't know, it was initiated by a user that failed, but uh, the result is a failure that's is shown here uh, as a result of uh, the EAP TLS uh, handshake. It's a, it was definitely a TLS transaction. Okay. And of course, we can also see the, the re user removal and the prior 
successful transaction that we that we saw bef before. This shows the usability of uh, radius-based certificate authentication, uh, where the admin can control uh, access to its uh, uh, user population based on radius.